Minnesota heads to Wisconsin. In Wisconsin, a three and a half point home favorite, total of 36 over at BetUS. 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ESPN. Wisconsin, it looks like, is going to hire Jim Leonard as their next head coach. They posted up the job online. It has to be posted for seven days before they can officially announce a hire. They did that on Sunday, or no, Saturday night right after the Nebraska game. Um, You know, it's basically set up where after this Minnesota game, they can go ahead and announce Jim Leonard as the hire. So let's look at the numbers. Uh, I've got Minnesota favored by 0.36 points based on the last five weeks of stats. Now that is, of course, with Tanner Morgan out, etc. Um, this this Wisconsin passing attack is is just not very good, and that is the one place where they would have been suited to maybe take advantage of this Minnesota defense. You can't really run on Minnesota's defense. Uh, the Gophers are, are number seven in PPA per rush, number fourteen in rushing success rate allowed. It, Wisconsin's okay at running the football. You know, number 49 PPA per rush, number 40 in rushing success rate. Uh, but when you look at trying to pass the ball, like Graham Mertz, etc., first off, Wisconsin number 109 in the country in interception percentage per game. Like, that is, it ain't good. It ain't good. Um, in Minnesota, a, a distinct advantage of taking the ball away. They're number 12 in that spot on defense. I, the one spot, like passing success rate, Minnesota's defense is number 22. That's really good. But Minnesota's defense is number 66 in PPA per pass allowed. Well, Wisconsin's number 126 in that. And number 115 in passing success rate. Like, they don't throw it a lot. 39% of the time does Wisconsin. Uh, Minnesota, great at, you know, I say great. They're pretty good at defending it. Uh, But their biggest strength is against the run, and that's exactly what Wisconsin's going to try and do. They run the ball 60% of the time. Like this, I don't think that's going to go well. On the other side, this uh, Wisconsin defense is actually looking a lot better than they did at the beginning of the season, which obviously you would hope they would develop, especially under Jim Leonard, who is a defensive wizard, as everybody believes. Uh, but I think that there's still ways that, that Mo Ibrahim can get going on this uh, defense. So I, uh, I look at Wisconsin's defense, I think, man, this is kind of a stalemate. Which obviously, like you see the uh, my projected score twenty point five seven to twenty point two two. Yeah, I I like I like when we've got a, a push like this and I'm getting three points of value, uh, especially three and a half. Like yeah, I'll take Minnesota plus three and a half. Uh, even if they lose by three, I still cover here. This feels like a good spot. It feels like a good spot to me. Um, I will take. P.J. Fleck. It, it seems like he and his team are always fired up for this game. Uh, they had not beaten Wisconsin in a long time before he got there. They've uh, they've done it twice recently. So give me Minnesota plus three and a half on that. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.